Let's see. Oh, this is really good. This Scott Jennings guy, I think CNN is probably regretting hiring him. Or maybe now that Trump's won, maybe they're actually glad they did. Because it'll appeal to, they realize that he'll appeal to more people than like Van Jones or Anderson Cooper ever will. Let's see. He blasts Democratic Party as a, uh-oh, professional fainting society. Well, I never. Man alive. Let's hear it. Then where did it go wrong? Well, I, I think the Democratic Party in the eyes of a lot of working class voters in the eyes of a lot of men uh, who overwhelmingly turned out for Trump in this election kind of view the Democratic Party as a professional fainting society. You know, I mean, we're <laughs> offended by everything. We don't, uh, you know, have our eye on the real ball here, which is people being crushed in the economy or we don't have our eye on the border. Or we don't have our eye on the world chaos. What we have our eye on is running around scolding everyone and and being offended by everyone. I mean, it's no way to run a political party and then be surprised uh, when average everyday working people turn out against you. So it's 100 percent true. <laughs> I mean, this whole thing about how does she get men? Uh, not by doing what you guys are doing. That was the big thing from the, you know, from the talking heads from the teleprompter readers. Right. Is how does how can Kamala get men? I mean, she's put out ads of like obviously actors, half of them gay talking about be a real man, be a real man and vote for Kamala because I'm a cowboy. I over and over again, I, what, what's some of the uh, solutions they've come up with that all young men should have to get psychiatrists. They should all have to go through therapy. <laughs> I love that. I mean, that's an obvious one because all of those kind of effete elitist people on like, you know, network news or cable news, they've all got therapists. So they assume everybody, I mean, it's never helped them, but they still keep going and they, you know, they make a lot of money so they can afford it. They just assume everybody, what you've got young men who aren't, who don't find the message that, uh, especially young white men who don't find the message that, uh, let's see, they're inherently bad and responsible for all of the evils of all of history, all of the crimes of, of, of humanity, of the past, the present and the future. For some reason, that's not appealing to them. Um, so the best thing is for them to get therapy. That will fix it. It's so strange. It's so strange for them to be so... I guess the thing is, you never know whether they're speaking the truth or not, whether they really are in that much of a bubble, or whether it is just simply their job. They, they There's a narrative that they have to push. If they don't, they don't get paid. So they have to keep doing it, even if they know that it's absurd. Also, people that aren't subscribed, you really should be. I keep telling people, I keep telling everybody that the euphoria that you experience when you press subscribe on the channel if you're not already subscribed and i'm sure the people who have subscribed will tell you i mean if you ask them they'll give you a little testimonial on it but the euphoria that you experience when you press subscribe on my channel i've heard that it's even better than gender euphoria but it has the added benefit of you don't have to cut off your dick and balls or your tits so what's not to like? I'd get on that if I were you. Let's see. Radio Streamer says, I would ask how much money they uh, they sell their soul for to push the fear porn propaganda campaign. Well, with like Anderson Cooper, it's like, I think he makes like probably eight, nine, ten million dollars a year. I think Rachel Maddow's on 20 million a year. So it's a lot. I bet they would say, quote, I can't help it if I love my job. <laughs> These people largely know what they are doing. They must, at least in some cases, I mean, because they're not actual imbeciles. So they must occasionally have like, you know, some crisis of conscience and then they just push it down. No money, money, making $10 million this year. Push it down. Hurt the world. Just hurt the world so you can keep making the money. Let's see. Well, Rosie says, um, Here's a testimonial. It shows you how powerful the uh, liking and subscribing is. The power of liking and subscribing is on Radio Baloney. Uh, she says, I liked and President Trump was elected. When he's on his dinosaur and he has his laser, no man can stand against him, especially with his best friend, the eagle, watching his back. The eagle's got a six. All right, let's see. Rumbum says, testimonial, I unsubbed and then resubbed and liked and then Trump won in a landslide again. <laughs> anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps me out. I thank you for that. 
I will see you next time.